Hi Trotters friends, I miss you and I want to share a few stories with you today. The first one is dinosaurs love underpants. Dinosaurs were all wiped out a long way back in history. No one knows quite how or why. Now this book solves the mystery. It all began when cavemen felt embarrassed in the nude. So someone dreamt up underpants to stop them looking rude. The dinosaurs roamed everywhere, all teeth and huge long necks. But scariest and meanest was Tyrannosaurus Rex. When T-Rex saw man's knickers, he roared with deafening rants. I don't want to eat you up. I want your underpants. T-Rex pinched a furry pair, but his pants quickly ripped. He couldn't get them past his feet. Oh, whoops, watch out, he tripped. Tyran Triceratops was happy, wearing pants on every horn till Styracosaurus snatched them and they ended up all torn. The pants from woolly mammoth coats made Stegosaurus itchy. Diplodocus was really cross. His pants were far too titchy. Uh-oh, look. We've too few knickers to go around. The caveman quaked in shock. These dinos are pants crazy. They've completely run amok. Soon pants were flying everywhere, all slipped by tooth and claw. The dinosaurs were frightening in a great pants tug of war. The mighty pants war raged all night. Thump, pow, bash, twack, clop. The fighting got so crazy, all the dinos were wiped out. The next day, out the cavemen crept and cheered at what they saw. Hooray! Our biggest enemy is now at last no more. So when you put your pants on, always treat them with great care. Pants and knickers save mankind. They're not just underwear. The next book I want to share with you is Grumpy Bird because I think some of you might be feeling a bit grumpy. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Bird walked past Sheep. Good morning, Bird, said Sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said Sheep. I'll keep you company. Bird walked past Rabbit. Hi there, Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Bird walked past Raccoon. Hey, Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm coming too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello, Bird, said Beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, guessed Beaver. I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing, shouted Bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox, let's go. Bird walked, the other animals walked. Bird stopped, the other animals stopped. Bird stood on one leg, the other animals stood on one leg. Bird jumped, the other animals jumped. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. The last book I'm going to share with you is I'm the Biggest Thing in the Ocean.
I am a giant squid and I'm big. I'm bigger than these shrimp. I'm bigger than these clams. I'm bigger than this crab. I'm bigger than that jellyfish. I'm bigger than these turtles. I'm even bigger than this octopus. I'm bigger than that shark. I'm bigger than that fish, that fish, this fish, and this fish. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. <gasps> oh no. this whale. Miss you guys. <laughs>